At this place in history, we are at the Socialist Labour Party Hall, a gem of Barry's history. And joining me now is Amanda Gustin, the Public Programs Manager here from the Vermont Historical Society. Amanda, what is so special about this building? This is a really remarkable building and I'm really excited to share it with everyone today. We're going to go inside and learn all about its history in the Barrie community, its uh, connection to Barrie's immigration history and Barrie's political history. We're going to uh, spend some time with Karen Lane, who's the vice president of the Barrie Historical Society, which takes care of this remarkable building today. Now, Karen, why is there a Socialist Labor Party Hall to begin with? Good question. Um, Barrie is really an immigrant community and beginning in about the 1880s, groups of immigrants from all over Europe and uh, right up into, the, into Scandinavia began to immigrate to Barrie and they were attracted by the granite industry here, which is the basis of the local economy. So first there was a wave of people from Western, uh, I'm sorry, Eastern Scotland from the Aberdeen area and right after them came a huge uh, population of Italians from northern Italy where there was both marble and granite and they brought with them um, a lot of experience with political discussion and radical politics and the labor movement was very strong there too. This was the first national socialist uh, political party in the United States was the Socialist Labor Party and so they started a chapter here in Barrie and built a building in 1900 in which they could have uh, all kinds of events. I understand this is this was a major community center um, that fulfilled um, many different purposes. Is that right? Yes, that is that is right. They invited speakers to come from places like New York City and um, Patterson, New Jersey, places like that, and then they had all kinds of uh, celebrations, everything from dances and family celebrations like weddings to um, to debates and uh, parades. They had a masquerade ball occasionally. Karen, can you take us back to sort of one of those parties in this space? What do, what do we know about how, how this space felt when it was just full of people? Oh, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> and I've often wished I could step back in time and, and be there. Um, but yes, I think uh, this, for instance, when they had the grand opening of this building, which was November the year 1900, um, 700 people came the evening of the dedication to hear the guest speaker. And his name was uh, Camilo Chanfrada. He came up from New York City and he was the editor of Il Proletario, which was the Italian uh, language paper of the Socialist Labor Party. So he was a big name in New York, but they, they were into fun as well as serious discussions. So they were, uh, concerned about the politics of the era and the development of the labor movement, they, but they were also here to appreciate one another, to celebrate Italian culture and the other nationalities of Barrie, and uh, just a very lively place. It must have been a lot of fun. At this place in history.